Hello and welcome. So we're going to do student checkup Excel 2-3. So with this one you want to start with the file that you ended 2-2 with and submitted. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and open that up and I'm going to resave it to student checkup Excel 2-3. All right, so there we are. So we're, we have uh, student checkup Excel 2-3 uh, saved and uh, we're on the restaurant revenue worksheet. So what we're, we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to create a, another chart. In order to do that, I need to select non-consecutive cells. So I'm going to go ahead and select from revenue categories down through barbecue steak. Then I'm going to hold my control key down and I'm going to select from all the totals, from the top of the total column down to uh, the row from the bottom there. So I4 through I11, and then I'm going to click insert, and I'm going to insert a pie chart, and I'm gonna make it a 3D pie chart. And then what I wanna do is I wanna move this new chart that I just created to its own tab. So it is selected now, I can go ahead and go up to the top right, which uh, where move chart is located. I wanna select the radio button on new sheet, and I'm gonna rename it right there, Total Revenue Pie Chart, and click OK. And there it is, it's in its own uh, tab. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, as it's still selected, I'm gonna go ahead and move over and click Style 2 up here in the Chart Styles area. I'm gonna go ahead and select Format Chart Area, which gives me the options to change the fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Gradient Fill, and I'm just gonna leave the, the orange color as it is. Select, right click on the center of the chart and then select format data series. Going to, I'm gonna go ahead and go to home here. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna format the, uh, I forgot to format the title here, so I'm gonna go ahead and retitle this. It's gonna be, gonna be total revenue by category. I'm going to change the font size to 28. And now I'm going to go back down here and I'm actually going to change the de data series here. So I'm going to click the titles right there and I'm going to change those to size 14 font and bold. So there they are. I'm going to click on the barbecue kebabs right there. So that's all I have selected. You see it's now selected here and then I can move that. So I can move it maybe to, to be able to view it better. Right here, I can move it out. It also tells me to move out barbecue corn on the cob, so I can do that as well. And I'm also going to move out any of the other labels that I wanna do, like barbecue crab cakes. If I, I can't see it very well, I want, might wanna move that one out as well, just like that. Move it down, maybe down here somewhere wherever you can see it best. Okay, now, so now what I'm gonna do, go to Format Data Series, right here in the Data Series option, I'm gonna go ahead and, as all of them are selected, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Angle, first slice, to 30 degrees. I'm gonna change that to 30 degrees right there. And then I'm going to just click on the Pulled Barbecue Pork Slice right there. So you can see that that one is just selected, none of the other ones here. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do a point explosion of 35%. That way the barbecued pulled, pulled pork is away from the rest of the slice. So I'm gonna click on one of the pie labels here and I'm gonna cl click on this green plus. So you see it opens up. I wanna go down to data labels here and click on that little arrow that goes to the right and then click on data call out. I'm going to also I'm going to go back up here and change the formatting for those call for those data labels to 14 and bold. So the data labels look good now. So they're already set to percentage right now. I could go in here and uh, change it to something else, right? So right now I've got category name and percentage if I wanted value on there, I could add the value by clicking this little option over here under data, uh, the label options, but I don't. I want the category name and the percentage, so that's exactly the way I want it there. I can go ahead and close that. Select Format Chart Area, and I'm going to select the bucket here, which is the fill. Go all the way down to the bottom where border is. 
and select solid line, dark red accent. So this one right here, accent two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So that's the way the chart's supposed to look there. Now what, what I need to do is go back to my restaurant revenue where I have my data. I'm gonna create one more chart. So for this one, I need to select A7. Right here, I need to select the barbecued pulled pork line. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold my left mouse down and go all the way across to from A7 to H7. And then I'm gonna press my control button down and hold it there, my control key. And then I'm gonna go from A9 to A H9. And then do the same thing for the very bottom, A12 through H12. Okay, so all three of those are selected. And now what I need to do is I need to go to insert. I'm gonna go up here to combo right there. This one right here is combo. And I need to select the second one over, which is cluster column line in secondary axis. So I'm gonna select that one right there. And then I need to put that new chart onto its own sheet as well, worksheet. So I'm gonna do move chart up here on the right, click new sheet. And then the new title on that one is going to be combo. Okay, there it is. Now I need to read format the chart title. Okay, so once I get to this point, right? So I have both barbecued pulled pork and barbecued crab cakes here. So at the very end there, so I, my cursor right here is at the end of cakes. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then I keep typing. So this one's gonna be versus totals right there. Okay, so all of this now needs to become uh, 24 font and there, that looks like the title right there. Perfect. So I already have my format chart area open. If you didn't have it open, you need to right click up here and, and select format chart area. I already have it open, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, click on the fill texture radio button. And so there it is right there, picture or texture fill. And I'm gonna go down here to the texture and select stationary, which is right here. Go ahead and close this. And now I'm gonna click on the Y axis. So the axis that's furthest over here to the left. I'm gonna, for, I'm gonna format mat that to 14 size font and bold. And then I'm going to right click and format uh, right here. I'm, gonna, I'm on the Y axis. I'm gonna right click on this and click format axis. Go down to number and under the number all the way at the bottom here, I'm gonna select accounting. Make sure there's zero places on the decimal and the dollar sign. I'm gonna go over here to the Z axis, which is all the way on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and reformat to that to 14 as well. Bold font. Okay, so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go ahead and close format axis. I'm gonna go back to the format chart area and I'm gonna select that bucket go to the border all the way at the bottom here border and then I'm going to go to solid line black text one so that'll be the last one I'm gonna go, go ahead and close that so now that is ready for submission so go ahead and save this make sure to hit save here and then upload this to the assignment link in canvas I uh, hope this helps. Have a good day and we'll talk to you later.